there is a bit of a problem with like using browsers and that like you know on a phone it's very easy to sort of like you know lose your game and stuff so this really is a game that really should be put in like you know an app form type of thing for like you know mobile devices or steam or whatever just to avoid lost games Got a shop here. There's a jeweled headband. A longbow. Scroll and mass heal, don't care about that. Orb of frost. More ice damage, less speed. We'll get those. So now I got five damage. More resistance. This is nice. Faster. So they are ranged, those guys. You need a soldier who teaches you what he knows. You learn the ability block and unlock the defense tree. There's the defense tree. I don't really need defense, I don't think, but it could be useful. Uh, that's very useful. That's not bad. Yeah, that's also useful, but I don't have the weight, you know, thing for it. Basically, it's like the, this, this is one for tr um, for like shields and stuff. Block attacks with a two-handed weapon. That's not bad. For me. I might be able to pick up a few things in defense. I mean, I don't think it pulverized, even though it sounds like a very powerful, you know, attack. It's just too powerful to, um... It's too costly, basically, for mana, I think, Pulverize. Sneak up on him. Would that make me um, heal up? Well, it doesn't matter if I resist it. You venture further into the forest. You pick up cultist robes. So these give me stealth, resistance, max mana, and weight. These give me resistance to fire. I mean, technically, like, you know, this is better because I'm not really facing any fire damage just yet. Sucks be him.
A night elf. A stealthy creature that can fight in melee and shoots poisoned arrows. Well, that's not fun. Orc warrior and armor warrior. Oh, I got issues again. Got him, but ow. He got enraged, but he died before you had a chance to do anything. Shrine. Make a donation for it today for blessing. The spirit bestows a blessing on you, increasing your fortitude. Then I increased my, like, you know, health. No, it actually increased my fortitude. That's a stat. So I just bought a stat there. You raise up the bucket in a well, but fail to find anything. Yeah, I figured he was here. You can see the bushes move when pe people walk in the bushes, the thing, right? So. Got you. There we go, I'm healed up. Don't fight where I don't need to. Well, day 21. You lead the forest and climb over a rocky terrain, surrounded by jagged peats. An ancient aura lingers over the land, blocking all magic incantations. Can I cast spells? There's a hunter. Me an old hermit who I should wearily and ask you to leave. An acolyte. The guild! I can't buy anything, and I can't, you know, that's too much to buy anyways. Again, can't afford it, but there we go, the Fees Guild. You raise the buck in a well, but find nothing. I get the feeling there's going to be a lot more wolves, basically, at this point. Yay, level. Do I want anything else from here? I kind of like the idea of any, like, you know, more defense.
Here's a question, by the way. Perry says, block attacks of two-handed weapons. Is a longbow considered two-handed? It seems a little odd that it basically helped me with that, but okay. Phase Knight. An armor fire that can teleport. Anime flying and silenced. Down it goes. That seems strong, so I want to deal with it. Frost Blast and Deep Freeze. Ruin Forge. I'm tempted to give them the robes. But the bow might be a better idea. You pick up a compound bow. Damage 6 plus 1 weight. You raise up the bucket of all but find nothing. Well, that was annoying. Die, you damn amp bandit. There's a two handed um, sword. It's got wearing strike on it, but we'll keep using them all. By the way, I would, I would probably rename them all to something else like bashing weapon or mace or bludgeon. Heavy weapon doesn't seem to be like very um, conducive to this game for like displaying what it basically is. Now nah, we're good. Let's go. Onward. You venture further into the mountains. I step on a sewing trap. Form back lizard. Weak creature protected by spines. Spiky. That seemed like the best time you do that. Well, that was fun. I don't know if I healed up here because um, I was at full health. Knight's Helm. Uh, immunity to stun gives me plus three armor but less vision. That sounds like an awesome thing, I guess, but the vision loss is huge in this game. Even for a melee character, that'd be really bad. Dragonling. A young dragon wielding fire. Uh, maybe I'll put this on just in case. Okay, we're good. By the way, there should be some sort of like penalty for swapping armor next to enemies like that. Like I put in a stealth armor and took it off, right? So... You find meat. 
Mm, meat. By the way, when you basically visit the campfire like that, you might want to like make it so like you know the flame goes out. So that's a graphic thing, so whatever. You venture further into the mountains, of course. I'm level 13, by the way. I would do that. Bear. I stunned it and killed it. Pyromancer! I just remember these guys can't cast spells here. Because they're silenced. This is like a what dream for me. Though, would the dragon be silenced and like unable to cast firebolt? There's Frostmage, by the way. Dinjin are incredibly powerful spellcasters wield that wield lightning, summon golems, and can even turn them invulnerable. Fun. I pick up meat. Five more days. And of course I stepped on sleeping gas. Shop. Sell this. Sell that. I got money again. Now note by the way that these like items here. They're getting more and more expensive but they have stuff on them. Hmm. Micro of this. I might get that just in case the thing can confuse me. Morning Star! Tier 5 Heavy Weapon. 11 damage, negative 1 attack, plus 4 weight. So this is 12 damage, negative 2 attack, plus 5 weight. And this. I had a weight issue there, but whatever. Um, I mean, this does more damage, but this is just better for, like, you know, the attacking, which is important, so. Unless I find, like, a tier 5 two hand heavy weapon, I'm not gonna, you know, worry about the two hand stuff too much here. There's so many mages, but they can't do anything.
That's fun. Uh, it just stopped being fun. And of course, these guys hurt when I hit them, right? So. You leave the mountains and step into a damp, dark cave that echoes a creature stirring in the distance. When stepped on, these mushrooms release dizzying spores, so. Good thing I got the confusion thing here. Oof, less vision. There's a question, is their vision affected? Ow. Ow. Well, that's good. He can't step on stuff he's not supposed to. So can I, apparently. Though I don't have to worry about confusion, so at least I got that going for me. Okay, it does actually affect me. It's disorientation, not confusion. So... Potion of Infusion. Not that useful to me. We're just going to press on. I'm going to get one more level, I think, before we get to the dungeon, so... Down he goes. The good news is that the spellcasters basically don't actually see me until I get right up on him. In most cases here. I mean, I like the armor and the weight. Not really, not the weight. Oh. I'm trying to get more defense, but. Let's get it, why not? Ah, uh, bear trap. That's gonna hurt. And that was booby trap too, because why not? Golem. A tough armor monster with high resistance but very slow. And of course he's resistant of course, so is that.
I don't find anything useful. Get out of here. We're almost there. Not useful. You venture further into the gloomy cave. The atmosphere grows tense. Be on your guard. It's go time. I want to be careful using a man here, but I think the goal might be dangerous, so let's just not anger it. That's not useful. Uh, it's getting annoying. I'm dying more to the traps than anything else here, by the way. So you might have a few too many traps here. Yeah, they hit hard. A powerful spellcaster protected by an invulnerable shield that can only be penetrated when low on mana. So how do you kill him? Do I have to wait for him to cast spells first, or...? He's got a mana shield, so okay, you just have to, you know, wither him down slowly. I would freeze. What's the best way of finding a dungeon? That'll help me out a little bit. You see it's me. The battle begins in earnest. He's invulnerable, of course. You weaken me. Hmm. 
Time to haste up. Regenerate. So you will summon new ones. You get sundered. There goes my invulnerability. So you can't put those on Gliss, by the way. That hurt. He, of course, resisted that. And God, everything's just spawning in like crazy now. I stunned him. You have slain the dungeon. Okay, I'm not dead. Do I have to find an exit now? Bonnie for survival. The monster's defeat brings you the promised bounty, a sum that allows you to leave behind the uncertainty of the wild. You buy a plot of land, a small cabin, and finally find a semblance of stability. Though your heart remains tethered to the wilderness, the reward ensures a life of comfort and the ability to help others in need. Level reach 30, character level 14, gold 707, skills 120, steps 160, uh, 1665, items collected 38, Kills, 259. Hidden objects found, 34. Total score, almost 30,000. So there you go, developer. You have a full run of your game right there to show off, if you want, to someone. Hopefully you might have found some stuff from that. Hopefully it will be, you know, useful to actually see. All right, Nat, I beat your game for you, so take care.